वेलकम बैक लर्नर्स एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर फोर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन आइटम प्रीवियसली वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल्स इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन एंड न्यूट्रॉन दियर डिस्कवरीज एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन आइटम एंड वी विल स्टार्ट विथ थॉम्सन मॉडल ऑफ एन आइटम वैन जे जे थॉम्सन प्रपोज हिज मॉडल ऑफ एन आइटम इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थ्री देन ओनली इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड प्रोटोन वर नोन to be present in the atom and according to this model students an atom was considered to be a sphere of uniformly positive charge and electrons are embedded into it like raisins in a plum pudding okay in an atom total positive charge is equal to total negative charge due to the electron now you can see here a picture has been shown to you have a look this sphere represents the positive part of an atom and these are the electrons which you can see they are embedded in it now read us it says the colored area contain all the positive charge in the atom and below you can see the negative charge electron are spread throughout the positive charge so according to thomson the mass of atom is considered to be uniformly distributed so this was the idea presented by thomson now we will understand why it is known as plum pudding model actually it it is similar to a plum pudding in which raisins are just like the electrons okay you can even compare with a watermelon have a look on this watermelon the red part is the positive sphere and those seeds which you are seeing embedded in it they represent the electron so in this manner we can compare thomson's model with a watermelon now students let's understand what were the various limitations of thomson's model of an atom thomson's model of an atom considered an atom to be sphere of uniformly positive charge and later researchers particularly rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment showed that an atom's positive charge is concentrated in very small volume at its center this small volume at the center was called core and later it was named as nucleus so this was the limitation of thomson's model one more according to thomson's model the mass of an atom is considered to be uniformly distributed rutherford's experiment showed that all the mass of an atom is concentrated at its center at the nucleus so these two were the limitations of thomson's model though thomson's model is very simple representation for an atom you have seen it that's all for today students in the upcoming classes we will study some more models of an atom that's all for today